patient and environmental sampling for carbapenem-resistant Acinetobacter baumani. Nosocomial infections with multidrug-resistant Acinetobacter increase morbidity and mortality. Prevention measures and care bundles can limit the spread of crab and eradicate healthcare-associated crab infections. Samples for detecting crab carriers are taken from three sites, the oral mucosa, the anus, and the skin. Among them, sampling skin has the highest sensitivity to detect carriers over 90%. This video demonstrates how to take a sample from the patient's skin and from the environment as part of active surveillance. Skin sampling upon admission to ICU for active surveillance. Sampling procedures and equipment. Prepare all the necessary equipment according to the sampling plan and place on a disinfected work surface. We will use a sterile sponge swab containing a buffer that neutralizes disinfectants and antibiotics and sterile conical test tubes containing 30 milliliters of enrichment broth for incubation. These serve to increase the sensitivity of the screening tests. Sampling Procedure The sampling procedure is performed using aseptic technique. Before and after sampling, we will perform hand hygiene and use protective measures in accordance with standard precautions and isolation procedures. Verify patient details. In order to increase the sensitivity of the test to detect crab, sampling should be performed before bathing the patient. Disinfect hands and put on gloves. Sample all four limbs. Start with the shoulder and continue with a sweeping motion down to the palm. Repeat on the other side, then sample the armpits. Now move on to the legs. Use the other side of the sponge swab and the same technique. Start at the thigh and continue down to the foot and finish by sampling the inside thigh. Then repeat on the other side. Sampling more body sites and a larger skin surface area improves the detection of crab. Put the sponge swab directly into the test tube and make sure it is well soaked in the enrichment broth. When finished, remove gloves and disinfect hands. On the lab forms, it is important to indicate which body sites you sample. Environmental sampling after terminal cleaning in a crab carrier room. Choosing which objects to sample depends on the reasons for sampling. For example, sampling might be performed to locate the source of an outbreak, to audit the quality of cleaning of the patient environment, equipment, and common surfaces, or to examine whether patient care is being performed according to principles of infection prevention. When we want to detect the source of an outbreak that may have originated in equipment, we should sample all of the equipment and instruments in the suspected area. We will use a separate sponge swab and test tube for each item we sample. We will focus on high-touch surfaces. Avoid touching the specimens. When the purpose of the sampling is to find the source of an outbreak or to check whether patient care is being performed according to the principles of infection prevention, we should sample shared equipment and carts. It is important to indicate the source of each sample on the lab forms. In conclusion, the infection control team should be familiar with all measures to limit the spread of crab. These include active surveillance by screening patients and the environment, isolating and cohorting carriers, chlorhexidine bathing, using closed suction systems for ventilated crab carriers, and reducing the use of antibiotics.